you know, a bowl form is one of my favorite forms to make on the wheel. There are lots of different things you can do to them. They're also one of the easiest items to sell and use. Now, likewise, with plates, platters, and lidded storage jars. I've made some DVDs and put them on my online store. So if you're a teacher, certainly check them out because they're timed for classrooms. I'll show you what I do to the rims of bowls over these next six items. I'll show you how I do it. Now when I was taught to make bowls, I was taught to make the inside of the bowl. The outside follows the inside. So I don't pay a whole lot of attention to what's going on out here. Unless of course I'm fastening it. But this is just a simple rounded bowl. I'm going to trim a foot in it and I've already decided that at this stage. So I'm going to leave about half an inch of clay in the foot, in the base area. As I draw my fingertips outward, I'm relaxing the pressure, so I start creating an interior curve to the bowl. Again, I'm throwing the inside much more than I am the outside. Sponge it clean. Undercut down here to create a little ridge. I put my swirl in the center. Now let's alter this rim. Okay, I've got a nice smooth rim. And I'm going to use this block of wood. And it's basically a square 2x2 two two that we've cut at an angle right through the, the length of it. It's a piece of hardwood. I think this is mahogany actually. And all the corners have been lightly sanded, so there's no burrs or bumps on them. They're very smooth edged. Now, all I'm going to do is use this as a, a tool to put some shape into this thing. How about there? There? And there? So that's one option, just a simple triangular bowl. Wire cut it from the wheel head, and here's a little tip. For getting these bowls off the wheel head. Take a scraper, and a pliable scraper is best. Wet it, and don't forget to wet it. Reach across your body and with dry fingertips at the foot of the bowl, pop it up, and carefully set this scraper underneath the bowl. Don't scrape it because I don't want to pick up the pad that's still on the wheel head. But once I've got at least half the bowl onto the scraper, I come to this side, pop them up. Now, you see how they've gone out of shape really badly, but if you put the scraper edge, the straight part, onto the wear board and quickly pull it out, you get your shape back. A round bowl will go back into perfect round. Let's make some more bowls. Okay, here's another bowl thrown. This time I'm going to put corners in it. Four of them. One and opposite. Two. Opposite. Three. And divide that. Four. Again, undercut down here. Place for the wire. Wire cut it loose. Use my scraper. Okay, here's another bowl. Now this time, I'm going to use these and I'm going to stroke my fingertips along the rim to create a real sort of jumped out curve there, a corner. Let's put three of them in this one. Now you could stop there or use this on the outside and do some inward corners. That's a curious looking bowl shape, but it's different than just your typical round bowl. So let's undercut it, wire it off, use a wet scraper, a 
Okay, there's one more bowl. This time, I'm going to use this stick again. Clean it off. I'm going to put an outward and an outward corner. Let's do another one here. Another one here. And I'm just going to press this inward. See what that looks like. It's a little different from the others. If you don't like the configuration that's in here, if it's a little too closed up, which this one's pushing it, I'm just going to take my finger and knock them out evenly. Let's use the undercut tool. Wire the bowl off. Use my scraper and get the pot lifted from the wheel head. Now one thing I want to point out, this pad that's here, before you put another piece of clay down on the wheel head, you'll have to remove this pad. When I wetted this scraper and put it in here, water ran down it and stuck to this pad or covered the pad. If I put clay on that, it's not going to stick. So each of these little skims of clay here have to be removed. I'll dry the wheel head and make another bowl. Okay, I've got the rim cleaned on this one. I'm going to make a swirling pattern at the rim. All I'm going to do is grab the rim outside with my thumb, inside with my finger, and turn it like this. Then counter that pressure with this finger over here. Now, that's a bit extreme, but that's what it has to be at this point. We're going to soften it up a little bit. kind of like this pattern a lot. It's a little movement into the pots. Use our scraper and get it onto the wear board with the other bowls. Okay, there's bowl number six. I'm going to use this piece of wood. Again, use this corner. Make sure it's clean and a little drier. You can use a wooden rib to do the same thing, but I like this angle a lot. It helps with the forming of what I'm doing here. So I'm going to go here and push it in. Here and push it in. Now you could stop there. That's kind of a nice simple bowl. But I never know where to stop. So, it's kind of a nice form, and I can imagine seeing this on a bigger scale, salad bowl. So, cut the base away, wire cut it on the wheel head. Use a wet scraper. Let's make a couple more balls. Okay, again, I'm going to use my little stick here. I'm going to do a whole bunch of indents around the, the rim. I'm going to work by the clock. 9 to 3, 6 to 12. Right there's quite a nice little simple bowl, like a clover leaf. But let's keep going. Wire it off and get it to our wear board.
And one more last bowl. Okay, this last bowl, I flattened the rim. And actually there's an, a ledge out here. And I'm gonna smooth it. I'm gonna put a couple of grooves in it. I'm gonna use my sponge, soften those grooves. Undercut here. I'm gonna press this. Visually, it changes the way you see the bowl. I kind of like that one. Again, I could see this on a larger scale, like a 5 or 10 pound bowl. Lots of ways to change the rims. Thanks for watching.